We've always believed that the command line is the future of coding by prompt. Your agentic coding environment should be fast and be able to operate at the lowest level of your system, not be buried behind a clunky file tree or bloated IDE interface. But we also don't think that the future of development is just vibe coding. Developers need transparency into what code is being written and full control to course correct it. So we've added seven features that bring editing, inspecting, and reviewing code directly into Warp. Let's dive in. First, we've added better support for searching files. Command P opens up the command palette and Command O activates file search mode. If you're on Windows or Linux, use Control Shift instead. Similar to what you're used to with VS Code and Cursor, this is a great way to jump into different files within your project. There's no need to type out full paths or memorize locations. Now, as I'm opening these files up, you'll notice that I can see all my open files in a tabbed view. I love this because I don't have to deal with a bunch of split panes that eat up my dev space. And I can control whether files open in a tabbed view or a new pane by going to settings and clicking on this toggle here. The UI here is a lot more intuitive for when I need to open and edit a bunch of code files. We also now support find and replace in the editor, so you can use Command F or Control F for Windows and Linux to search within files or code diffs right within Warp. So here I can search for the word leader and it works as expected. It also supports search with regex, so here I can type in this regex query to find all the variable names that start with the word leaderboard and then I can press select all to activate multi cursor support and rename this to tool filter instead or I can type in tool filter here and press replace all and before that I'm going to toggle on preserve case so that the function name will be preserved as Pascal case and the variable names will be preserved as camel case our fourth update is that we now support syntax highlighting for PowerShell Kotlin Swift Toml PHP Lua Ruby HCL and Groovy so for example if I ask agent mode to generate a sample Swift file, you'll see that the suggested code diff has all this syntax highlighting. But if I try to generate a Lisp file, you'll see that the code is not colored differently across keywords and variables. Let us know if you want syntax highlighting support for more language formats in the comments of this video, and we'll bubble that up to the engineering team to take on. The next improvement is that when agent mode references a file, Warp now links you directly to the line of code it's referring to. So for example, if I asked Warp to explain how pre-processing trained data works in this code base, it now cites the files and even the specific line numbers that it looks at. I can even click on these to open up the files to the specific lines of code within the code editor view in Warp. This feature was built to give users full transparency into what Warp agents are doing when it's grokking your code base. That way you can track and verify the agent's actions in real time. I also want to show you how Warp surfaces these code blocks in agent mode as it explains something to you. The best part about this is that you can click here to add this code snippet as context to your next request. One of my favorite ways to use this feature is by first prompting my agent to summarize the architecture of the code base. Then I attach the specific code snippets as context in the new session when I need to make a feature change or fix a bug. This helps me avoid bloating the context window, which can get expensive fast, especially with large code bases. By reusing targeted snippets instead of the full history, I can reduce token usage and keep the agent's attention focused on what really matters. And last but not least, we have a nice UI improvement of collapsible blocks when the agent is indexing through files so it's not cluttering your pane as much as it previously did. And that's all the updates we have for this week. As always, the description will have more details around what's already shipped and what may still be on our dev builds. Try these features out and let us know what you think. We love your feedback and as always, thanks for watching.